Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and I'm so so excited um, because I have been missing for a little while but I'm back because I'm kind of like trying to do a little bit of issue and stuff with my life but um, I think everything has been settled and I think it's gonna just gonna get better so yeah since I kind of started this channel with favorites so yeah let's jump right in this item is this battle teen <laughs> so this is a little like travel size I got this just because I just never got myself committed to one makeup product I always try to want to stick to it but I'm just very curious and just like a little like just an unsubtle bird, I just want to try every single thing so I decided to get the small little one and also because I missed the one that they have with a rose cap on it so it has actually that applicator that is much more like less ticklish than the regular one that they have on the tin but I got the small one and the girl was telling me that it's just gonna last for me probably like 3 weeks but I had this for almost like a month already and look at how much I've only used it and I apply it liberally on my mouth so this is what I have on my lips but of course that's underneath on top I actually top it up with this vitamin oil tin just thought I should show you guys this is from Olive Young but it's not one of my favorites just because I layer it on because I watched Wonder Woman yesterday and it was so good I love it because I just like how she looks like how it's like a woman power a little bit and then um, I really like how in the movie she always have those very wet and oily looking lips like it's just very wet and glossy and then I thought I should just top it off with this oil and I really like how it looks in real life in camera it's much more of like a fuchsia pink um, but I still love it like it looks very fresh and pretty yeah so Benetton has been my favorite um, and then yeah just like and I think I would prefer this applicator and I would just keep repurchasing this one because it's just easier to bring along and this applicator is shorter so it's not so ticklish and flimsy so I think that's really good and it's very handy to just pop in the bag and then I like it because it gives your life like really the natural color of life it's not too red like other Korean lipstick or lip tints are but it just gives you a very nice like a little bit of color to your lips and it looks so natural and so I don't know, it's just kind of, I like the kind of look, I dig it, yeah. And then the next favorite is also a travel size, also from Benefit, this is the California blush. Um, I had used their blushes before, but I, and blush is another thing that I never get through to all the way to hit the pen. So I got this, um, I was debating this between this and Chic Parade, but it's actually cheaper to get that but I feel like I'm never gonna run through a blush so I went to get this so it also has like that small brush and this is how it looks like and this is what I have on right now through the camera it's not really showing up or you know but in real life again it is really quite intense and it just gives the kind of hidden glow that the right amount of red that shows from within and I really dig it as well and the scent is really good it has a little bit of shimmer but it doesn't kind of show up on the face um, but one thing about this is I feel that throughout the day if I put about this intensity in real life it actually looks pretty kind of heavy handed already but it doesn't last throughout the day for me maximum maybe like three to four hours and that's it and I was hoping so much more because of the intensity of the blush I was hoping that it might last a little bit longer but it didn't however I still like the color and I think because of the size of it it's very good to kind of travel with and since these two are like pretty miniature, let me show you the things I like to bring with me. So I went to Hong Kong and then I really like to pack this thing. Like this is the 3 Concept Eyes mini pouch but both of them fit perfectly into this pouch. So I can touch on my blush, I can touch on my lips as well. And um, I don't have to use my hands to pat this on, you know, so I just got this with me. Um, yeah, and the only thing I wish that I can fit in is maybe like powder or maybe blood or something like that but I haven't got it so yeah but so far it has fit really well in my purse like very very snugly so I've been loving that two products a lot moving on next it has to be this hair products I don't really know how to pronounce it um, but I'll leave the information down below I got this from Korea and it looks like this 
So it comes with a pack where there's two of this and one mini. So I bought this with me all the time um, to Hong Kong when I travel and even when I'm in Singapore I used this. <laughs> and it just kind of made my hair more healthy because I did bleach it the second time and color it a little bit lighter um, at the ends and it's getting very very dry. So um, using this one kind of just help it a little bit and it's keeping it much more manageable. So I really like it smells really good as well. It feels really good. It gives it shine and everything but it doesn't really weigh down the whole hair. So I really like this one. Next is this IOP multivitamin ampoule. I think that this month I haven't been really religiously doing my skincare routine just because there's a lot of things I'm kind of like insecure about and all that. But um yeah, so it's like I always want to do things that keep things off my mind or I'm always um, trying to just get my things together. I'm really busy as well so I haven't, I haven't been really doing or taking care of my skin but I think this one is really good because um, I feel like it did nourish my face. It didn't make my face look really bad you know when I'm having such a busy day, a busy month and like things like that and it's very affordable. I think I got this during a sale because it is like almost almost expiring it's expiring in 2018 and now it's returned 70 but i got it off a sale and it's i mean if you're using it every single day this might have you know i think i can go through this in a, in a year um but i really like it the consistency of it is very very liquidy i don't know if you guys can see it but yeah so it's very liquidy and it doesn't feel like oily or anything like that it just feels really nice and it smells not bad either it's very lightly fragrant so I think it's okay and acceptable to me yeah and I think it just kept my face really kind of like still alright looking even though I really didn't take care of it too much this month and next is a very recent purchase I got it maybe in mid May but I've been using every single day ever since I got it so this is the Jojo Armani Power Fabric looks like this and the color I have is 5 um, I was thinking of like maybe 4.5 or 5.5 or 6 maybe like a more like a yellow tone because this one is more like a beige tone and a more yellow however I think that 4.5 is a little bit too light for me and this one fits just nice like the amount like the tenderness of my skin but not necessarily keeping it very like the tone is, the tone of it is different but I feel like the darkness of it matches me and yes I kind of like it and I feel like on me it doesn't look like super cakey or super thick or anything but it looks really nice it feels really comfortable on the skin even though I've wear, I'm worn it for like 12 hours but the only thing is that it's supposed to be a little bit like satin finish or like matte even and a little bit more on the matting fine side um, but with this foundation I don't think it keeps the oil at bay but rather, um, it's kind of like oily. It didn't fade away really quickly. However, it just didn't control oil as much as I like. And I'm using an oil controlling primer underneath as well. I have used the Benefit Med Rescue. I have used the um, Makeup Forever Magnifying Primer. I'm also using the Cover FX Magnifying Primer as well. But those things, and setting with a powder that has oil controlling properties as well, this one does not keep my face matte at all and I'm not super oily kind of girl I'm like almost like normal oily so I'm not sure but I think that with this foundation or maybe with the weather or the, like maybe because I'm using magnifying primer so my face is like producing more oil or something like that so it kind of gets a little bit oilier than I would usually like or maybe because I'm digging the kind of very satin matte look recently so a little bit of oil I cannot control but I don't think it's doing very well in the oil controlling department but I like how it feels on my skin I like how it looks even after 12 hours of 12 hours of wear so give it a thumbs up you guys can check it out I think even though it's not like super oil controlling or whatsoever I think the formulation of it like how it feels on the skin after a long day of wear it's really really good and you don't feel like ripping the makeup off your face so really love it okay so the last two 
yeah, I think it might be the last two items, honestly, um, is a primer. So I have been really liking the Makeup Forever primer that I got, which is also a travel size. And all my primers are uh, travel size just because I just, this one I got like almost like two years ago and I'm still using it. I still have so much left, can you imagine? Because I think if you put too much like primer on, all the foundation just slip and slide around. So I just use what I needed. But when I use this magnifying primer from Cover FX, it does not go. It's just like a grease ball at the end of the day. However, when I use these two together, it keeps my makeup on really for like 12 hours. Um, and I'm still oily. I still need to blot a little bit, but it's not like it's so oily till it melted off. So I think these two together, this is a Smashbox photo finish um, primer. I think that's like her refining or something like that so this is the two that I like okay and yeah it works perfectly I'm wearing it today on my face again and then um, yeah together with the foundation as well just in case I miss that portion out yeah but together they just last throughout the day and I really really like it so yeah so all these are my monthly favorites and Yep, so I guess that is it. Oh, but by the way, I got a lot of foundation recently because I'm on the hunt for like, like I said, I've been going through the magnifying like satin, the semi-matte look for my face. So I've been like really buying a lot of foundation and all that. And I wanted to try them out and like, give it a review. But a lot of them had been reviewed before. But I find that it will do a lot of Singaporeans good because it's such hot humid weather right even though the foundations are oil controlling or magnifying in a sense it still gets oily chotty unless you are a really dry person and because we have sweat we perspire and the humidity of the weather here i think it would be good if i were to do a foundation review based on singapore's weather because it is super hot super humid it's not like hot dry but hot humid and things just kind of slide really really fast so yeah i might be doing a few reviews after this and hope you guys enjoy it so yeah see you guys soon bye bye